Hello everybody, I'm Miss Miss Abel Blessing. This is a reading for Sagittarius. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. Today is April 13th, 2021, and we're going to get into your messages for today. First and foremost, it's saying that you want emotional fulfillment and happiness, and I do think that you're definitely receiving that at this time. If you're not, it will be coming toward you, okay? Because you have the wish fulfillment card coming up right behind it. So it's saying anything that you're hoping and wishing for at this time can come to fruition. If you are seeing Lady Bell, that means that that's good luck that's definitely coming your way. There's some blessings coming towards you, but you're manifesting a lot of things too. And I feel like you have to defend yourself in regard to something that you've been working extremely hard on here. People coming up against you, but you're standing your ground, just believing yourself and doing what you need to do, okay? That's right. If you're manifesting something, that's your business, but people can't seem to mind their business. That's why you have to stand up and guard your mind, guard your soul, guard everything that you have that's yours. Because they're just people that just be hating ass motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you got a lot of things that's definitely in your mind. Some of you are not even sleeping at night. Some of you are definitely spiritual healers. Somebody is not feeling well. Somebody is not up to par. You know what I'm saying? You're wearing your options in regard to some things. You have to use your intuition in regard to, because the high priestess is showing up. She said, use your intuition in regard to whatever's going on around you. Um, there could be some things that are hidden from you. You could have some secrets, or somebody could have some secrets from you, but you're going to have to use that intuition to figure this out. You could be dealing with a cancer individual and a Scorpio for sure is showing up in this reading. I feel like your life is changing. There will be things that will be ending. You're metamorphosing, you're changing. Those sort of opportunity open up where some things are going to be closing down. I feel like um, you could have had harsh words because you see, this is the queen of swords and look at you looking at the Scorpio. You didn't told a Scorpio off here. They didn't got on your last damn nerve and this was very heated. So y'all didn't got into it and you didn't told them, you know, what the fuck they can do and where the fuck they can get off at. And I see your creativity is very high, very beautiful card, creativity. It's overflowing for you guys here with this Ace of Wands. I also see whatever you're creating is bringing in financial flow for you here. And you're not afraid to jump out and do something new and exciting. And that's a great thing. I mean, there's really nothing to fear but fear yourself. And fear is false evidence up here in real. So come on now. Shit. I do see doors and with opportunity open up new, new love on the rise and somebody's going to have a new flame to come into their life. I do see somebody receiving flowers and things like that as well. You're working on your stability. That's what you want. Somebody's going to be buying a new home. I see that as well. Somebody's spying on somebody. Somebody looking at you or you looking at them. I think this person could be obsessed with you or you're obsessing over them. But you can't seem to keep your eyes off of that person. They can't, can't seem to keep their eyes off of you. Somebody who you could be in a passionate and loveless relationship with. I mean, y'all done been through some things. It is what it is. You just got to know what's going on. Uh, be careful overindulging in some things. Maybe you're drinking a little bit. Too, maybe you smoke weed. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you um, eat a little bit too much ice cream. You know, get that under control, okay? Your body's a temple, so treat it that way. I do see a victory. Victory is definitely yours. And a sense, and the universe is going to bless you accordingly. Some of you could be drinking wine. And that's a good thing. Or eating grapes. I also see celebrations taking place. You getting together with family and friends and things like that. Having a good old time. Enjoy your life. Some of y'all definitely into it, but somebody's going to leave somebody feeling like they left out in the cold when it comes to you. But you're very guarded in a sense in regard to this person because y'all can't seem to get along. I see you're going to balance some things out, though, Sagittarius. This is your card all day, every day, twice on Sundays. You're balancing some things out. You're trying to keep things together. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of do you. I do see that you're seeking happiness in your life. You could be dealing with a Leo or have a Leo in your chart. But some reason, I feel like some of you are stuck. You're not moving forward or backwards in regard to something. Or somebody's feeling stuck in regard to you here. And let's see what else is going on for you guys. You could be dealing with the air sign. A Libra, Aquarius, Gemini individual. Be careful of deception, lies, deception, and to see somebody want to steal something from you. I feel like somebody could be taking somebody to court here. In regard to a lover's relationship, somebody did somebody fuck foul here in a loving relationship. Well, when it was loving. And now you got to take them to court in order to get what it is that you want. You could be dealing with a Libra here. But you're going to get some balance in regard to this situation, okay? 
And the star card is saying your blessings. This is a wish fulfillment card and another balancing out card. Um, you getting recognition that you need in a sense in regard to some things. So if you do have a court case that's going on, it's going to work out in your favor. Don't worry about that so much, okay? Wow. I see a lot of communication in that stuff and you're coming your way. You're teaching yourself. You're analyzing your... Um, now, like I said, people placing things in your life to come up with the answers that you need. I also see uh, a lot of people trying to pass judgment on you in a sense. Regard to things that um, you're working on. They can't seem to mind their fucking business. Just all in your business. You got you feeling some type of way. Somebody feels like they missed out on an opportunity here with you. Um... Yeah, Sagittarius, missing out on opportunity. You could have felt like you missed out on an opportunity. Remember, something is not for you. You know what I'm saying? You're waiting for your ships to come in. This is a spaceship all day, every day. <laughs> but I like you to pay attention to the shooting star. That means a wish is going to be fulfilled for you guys, okay? Mm -hmm. See, you planted seeds in fertile soil. Now you can see the fruition of something that you planted. It worked out in your favor. There's definitely clarity and truth. Are you standing in clarity and truth in regard to some heartache and pain? You're standing on your truth. Somebody could have caused you heartache and pain by walking away from you or vice versa. Okay, you guys? Sagittarius? Mm-hmm. But yet you're reminiscing about the past, so they're going to try to come back to you one. They ain't had enough yet, so they're going to come back again for another round. But it's up to you to allow them into your world or not. I see huge changes taking place for you, Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. They tell me that you pay close attention to detail in regard to whatever it is that you're working on. Planting seeds and fertile ground will bring a lot of good things for you. Blessings. This is you definitely, Queen of Wands, Leo Sagittarius, or Aries individual. I feel like somebody could be doing some fuck file shit here. So be careful. Watch your back. Some of y'all feel like you're carrying heavy loads in a sense, you know. But the good thing about that's an ending card with endings always come new beginnings. There is a water sign coming in to make you an offer here is what I'm seeing, okay. It's up to you to decide if you want it. Somebody wants to birth out something new and exciting with you. And somebody could possibly want to have a baby with you. I see you inventing a lot of good stuff. There's a lot of offers coming your way. I think you're very popular. Somebody wants this partnership, but they want to work with you. Or just be your boo thing. I mean, it is what it is. Okay, you guys? And I'm going to choose a few more cards. You have the strength card. Stand in your strength. Trust and believe in yourself. Things will work out if you are in your emotions. Feeling like you've lost something. Or going through a tower moment. It's all a part of a life lesson. Okay? Yep. You have a lot of competition that's definitely going on. Some of you could be dealing with earth signs, Virgo, Tarsus, and Capricorns. But I see you getting victory. All day, every day, and twice on Sundays. <laughs> All right, Sagittarius, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. If you like your own personal reading with me, you can always call me at 347-227-5723. Um, don't forget to subscribe and comment. Thank you, guys.